Perhaps one of Jaguar's greatest successes was the compact car which first appeared at the 1955 Earl's Court Motor Show. It had a 2.4 litre six cylinder engine which had been used in the XK series, but with a shortened stroke which produced 116 horsepower. Suspension was of a coil and wishbone arrangement and the chassis and body were of unitary construction. In 1956, Paul Fleur drove a 2.4 in the Belgian production car race at Spa, and he took first honours in the touring car class. In 1957, the same year that the Jaguar Drivers Club was formed, the 3.4 litre compact was launched. Though it may have looked like its predecessor, the 3.4 was more than a match. Its 210 horsepower gave it a top speed of 192 kilometers an hour and more than 17,000 3.4 litre compacts were produced. It was destined for success in the motorsport arena and it took top honours in the Monte Carlo Rally, the Dutch Tulip Rally and the Tour de France. In 1960 saw the introduction of a redesigned compact, the Mark II. Rear vision was improved by a wraparound window, disc brakes were standard and power assisted steering became an optional extra the following year. To this day the Mark II is still a great classic. Under the bonnet you'd find one of three power units, an improved 2.4 litre engine producing 120 horsepower, the previous 3.4 litre unit and a 3.8 litre engine which was in use in the Mark IX saloon. In its first year the Mark II saw wins at Silverstone, the RAC Rally, the Alpine Rally and the Tour de France. The Mark II had performance and looks. And then Jaguar launched a high-speed version of the Mark II, which combined the power and performance of the Mark II and the Mark X. This was the S-Type, a car which combined the tried and tested pedigree of Jaguar performance, style and superb finish. The new S-Type was unveiled at the British Motor Show at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham on the 21st of October and it immediately started gathering accolades. It won the British Steel Award for the car of the show. The new S-Type isn't due to go on sale in the United Kingdom until March next year and will cost something in the region of 25 to 38,000 pounds depending on the model you choose. It will initially be available with a V6 and a V8 engine, the V8 being the same one as is currently used in the XK8. There are lots of features about the car about which Jaguar are keeping fairly mum at the moment, but it's expected to have a voice activated air conditioner, a radio and telephone, and a rain sensitive wiper. Another thing Jaguar are keeping fairly mum about are the numbers of orders that might have been placed at the British Motor Show. But there's no doubt that Jag fans must have been flocking there with their checkbooks at the ready. When the car does arrive in South Africa, and we expect that to be probably towards the end of next year or the beginning of the year 2000, well, it's likely to be a very pricey item. But then again, just look what you're paying for. The style, pace, grace and superb craftsmanship. The S-Type plant at Coventry resembles something like a doctor's surgery or an operating theatre. The car has been put through a series of stringent tests and quality control measures before it even got to the British Motor Show. And at the British Motor Show, people couldn't even get near the car. It was on a plinth high up above the Jaguar stand, so no sticky little fingers on it. Jaguar's safety measures are also legendary, and this car should be amongst the best in the business. Another thing is that it certainly is going to be a car which is very, very high on quality and standards, carrying on the true tradition of the Jaguar company.
these pictures of the car undergoing tests were probably designed by Jaguar to prolong the anticipation of seeing the new car, and they most certainly do. But as they say, if a picture can say a thousand words, then I'll let them do the talking.